I work for Gojo Industries. I'm lucky enough to be a manager. I have a, um, a fair amount of people on my team, and part of being a manager is to help people get through their projects and problem solve. Gojo Plaza is six floors. It's a north, uh, south, east, west orientation where you kind of can walk all around the entire building. There are you know, rooms on the outer edges. There are ra uh, rooms uh, on the inside. I was up in the sixth floor in a meeting room and it probably was about five minutes before my meeting was supposed to end. Jeff had called me and he normally doesn't do that in the middle of a meeting. I decided to pick up the phone. Within 10 seconds, I knew something was wrong. Jeff was very confused and the speech was garbled and I, I kind of knew that he likely was in trouble. Within 30 seconds, I did understand fifth floor out of him. One of my teammates and I, Carla Johns, quickly moved down to the fifth floor and we began a room-to-room uh, -room search all around the building to see if we could find Jeff. I kept him on the phone. When I looked in one of the doors, we finally saw the bottom of his shoe and the rest of him was behind a wall. We did find him within two or three minutes. By looking at him and asking him some questions, I do know some of the signs of uh, stroke. You know, Jeff wasn't speaking clearly. Uh, he was confused. I also was able to ask him to smile for me, and I noticed that his, you know, his smile wasn't symmetrical. I yelled to, you know, go get 911 because we all know, you know, it's it's really speed that helps someone to recover uh, from a stroke. I want to say that, you know, by the time EMS showed up, another, you know, 15 people at Gojo have kicked into gear and are helping and giving Jeff encouragement. The EMS folks came and they began to administer the medication. I did take the ambulance ride with Jeff, was able to get into the, the room with him once we got there and give him all the support he needed, you know, hold his hand. I was lucky I was with Jeff in the hospital room. They continued to administer the medication and I was able to kind of see his excitement as he began to recover the use of his, his limbs. You see the severity of what, what's happening and uh, just wanting your, your friend to be okay. Jeff is probably one of the kindest, most positive people that you ever would want to meet. When he was starting to have his stroke, Jeff was actually on a phone call in the middle of doing a mock interview on his lunch break, helping someone who has some disabilities. If you were thinking about somebody that would uh, put forth the energy into his therapy to recover, it would be Jeff. Within uh, a month, month or so, Jeff was, uh, you know, back to work. I actually had a pretty major heart attack a month after I helped Jeff at work. And I feel like that whole experience uh, of all of us helping each other was a dry run for that event that happened.